Okay guys, Lika here. Today I'm gonna throw, this is Wifey. Today we're gonna take a look at a really essential product that you really need. Look, I know you're storing your your, your, your seed phrases in Evernote. I know, I know you're storing them in plain text on your hard drive, but you're just not gonna get away with it for long. And eventually you're gonna get, you're gonna get pwned and it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awful. So this is the Ledger Nano S. It's the essential hardware wallet that you're looking for. It supports altcoins, Ethereum, Bitcoin, um, pretty much everything that you're gonna need. The first thing you're gonna wanna make sure is that this device is sealed. Mine came from France. It's totally sealed in the packaging, as you can see. And you wanna make sure that yours is the same. Okay, let's open it up. Come on, baby, rip it open. Yeah, I have another one of these. This is just, I'm doing a project and I wanna get a fresh one. They're 79 euro. Um, you can you can do your own research on how the security works and everything, but just take my word for it. These are good. Uh, it's a nice looking device. It's got an OLED screen. Uh, it connects to the PC with a USB connection. It uses a 24 word uh, encryption or seed system, and you can actually send payments. Interact with your wallets without your 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 seed ever being uh, on the machine, the, the target machine that you're using. Yeah, it's just a beautiful device. You can see the OLED screen here. So essentially, there's a pin system, and you're going to uh, just quickly punch in your pin, and that'll send the coins off once you've got it set up right. All right, so let's have a look here. Let's bring it a close up. So the Ledger Nano S is a Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Altcoin hardware wallet. It's based on robust safety features for storing your cryptographic assets and securing digital payments online totally safely. It connects to any computer, uh, Mac, PC, uh, Linux, whatever, via USB, and it has this secure OLED display so you can double check and confirm each transaction with just a single tap of the buttons. Right, okay, so you've seen this is a sexy device. Let's actually take a look at some of the software behind it and how to set it up. Right guys, when you open up your Ledger Nano S, I guess I should have showed you exactly what's inside. You'll have this mini USB cable, nice one. You get this like lanyard thing. I don't know, probably won't use it. There it is. Um, you get a keychain, something to hold the Ledger Nano S to the keychain, and of course you get the device itself. You also get some documentation, of course, uh, just something that lets you know that the device's internal software will have some have a, has a mechanism to let you know it hasn't been tampered with in any way. Great. Um, you get this starter guide here, shows you what to do. You just have to go to a URL. There it is, start.ledgerwallet.com. Um, this is the most important thing in the box. It's just a reminder that when you turn on the device, you're gonna have to write down the 24 words that are presented to you. Um, I don't know, I'm a little strange. I made my own uh, just because, so I'll put a link in the description if you wanna use a list like this. Right, so turn it on, you'll get the welcome screen. Press both buttons to begin, let's do that. Okay, so the side buttons are used to interact and control with the user interface. Use left and right buttons to change the values and then navigate through the lists and both buttons when you wish to make a selection. Confirm or continue. Okay, let's get started. To begin, press both buttons. All right, let's configure it as a new device. Now, um, Go ahead and do that. Got to choose a pin. All right, so when you choose a pin, it just looks like this. Old school. You can choose a pin of four to looks like eight characters. Um, keep in mind, you're going to have to hit this pin every time you interact with the device. So, yeah, maybe five or six or something max. So you got to confirm it. All right, this is the step where you write down your recovery phrase. Super, super important. So. 
um, if you're ever going to need to restore a wallet because you've lost your original, original Ledger Nano S or otherwise no longer have access to it, restoring to a new Ledger Nano S will grant you access to your coins again. So write this down. Once you've properly entered in your phrase, you'll get the your device is now ready. Right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to start.ledgerwallet.com. You're going to want to type it in yourself. Make sure you're going to the exact right spot. Uh, you get this welcome screen. Uh, you've got a Ledger Nano S, or at least I do. Let's go to configure my device now. You don't have any of these special editions. Um, click here. So it's going to tell you to plug everything in. Explains the left, right, both button situation. Uh, left and right button is to scroll. Both buttons at the same time is selection, but you already know that. Uh, so first thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is uh, update your Ledger Nano S's firmware. So um, take a look at the installation guide. Now I happen to know that my Ledger is up to date, so I'm not gonna do this step, but I would definitely update the firmware on your device before using it. There could be a uh, hot fix for something uh, hackerish in there, so make sure you do that. Right, so under configure my device, have a look at exactly what you should be doing before you start using your Legend NOS. Step one, like I said, update the firmware, uh, connect the device. You got to choose that pin, which we mentioned. Got to back up that recovery phrase. Don't forget all 24 words in order properly on your recovery sheet. And after that, we can begin installing the Ledger app. So let's do that now. Right, so back at start.ledgerwallet.com, Ledger Nano S. Let's install the app manager first. Gonna need that. So you need Chrome to do this, of course. Add to Chrome, add app. Okay, so the Ledger manager is here. Let's pop that open. Right, connect your Ledger wallet. So this is the part where you enter your PIN code. Let's do that now. Right, once you successfully entered your PIN code, you will get this uh, settings screen. And you can see that the apps, uh, Ledger Nano S apps manager is now open. Right, so here you can see a whole list of coins uh, right out of the box. There's, there's a lot of support for a lot of different coins. All the you know, top 10, even top 20 coins are here. Um, and of course you'll be able to add ERC20 based coins uh, that are on the Ethereum blockchain as well. All right, so in order to support these coins, we're gonna have to install the app for each of them. Uh, click the down arrow and on the device, it should say allow ledger manager. So just confirm that. Once you've completed that step, on the device itself, it will show that you now have support for Bitcoin. All right, so just go ahead and do that for all the coins that you want to install. Um, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ripple, whatever they are, Zcash, they're all here. Uh, Neo's here. And yeah, just uh, download, download for each of them uh, which ones you want to support and you will be good to go. Also, just to point out, if you click the firmwares tab, it will show you that you already have the latest firmware installed. If not, you can install the latest one. All right, so now that we've actually got support for those coins, let's go ahead and install a wallet so you can actually see how we interact with the device sending and receiving funds. Let's do, let's install the Ethereum wallet. Once again, we're gonna be directed to add the Chrome plugin. Let's do that now. And here it is, Ledger Wallet Ethereum. Okay, beginning connect, unlock your device. Okay, then open the Ethereum app on the device. So you're gonna have to be on the Ethereum screen and just hit both buttons. Use wallet to view accounts, yes. All right. That's done. 
back in the Ledger Ethereum wallet, select the Ethereum chain to use. We don't want to use the original or we, we don't want to use ETC Classic. We want to use Ethereum. All right guys, so once you open up the Ledger wallet for Ethereum, you'll get this comfortable, familiar looking wallet app. You've got the send ether here. Uh, this is for receive. And um, I've got just a tiny bit in here that I just sent over just now, um, just to kind of give an example. If you click on the transaction, it'll actually link you to Etherscan. That's kind of nice. Yeah, so let's just practice to send out some ether. Uh, click send. I'm just going to grab my Ethereum address. Right, so paste in your Ethereum address here. Uh, gas limit and gas price is included just to show you, but uh, just leave the defaults. Uh, I think you can change it anyway. I guess if you go advanced mode, you can. Uh, I'm just going to leave it. It's going to be fine. Nice and simple. Click send. Oh, of course we have to choose how much we want to send. Let's go ahead and send just this much. Um, looks good. Click send. Now we need to confirm the transaction on the device. There it is. Do you want to send this amount? You bet we do. And you can see that it's been sent off. Transaction complete. And honestly, it's that easy. And the beauty of this device, and I said this earlier in the video, is that your your backup phrase, your recovery phrase, it never leaves the device. So that's really important concept to understand because if you leave that seed phrase in a text file or in Evernote or in any other online note-taking app or anywhere else uh, electronically, you're opening yourself up to hackers getting into your machine and getting all your money. And it honestly, it happens every day. It's there's teams of people that are targeting uh, crypto guys. So you really, really need a device like this. Uh, if you're messing around with crypto in any capacity, I would say, and it's just great security. Um, that's about it guys. It's an awesome device from the guys at Ledger. Uh, highly recommend it. They've been making these devices since I think 2014. They've had very few uh, instances uh, of security. You can do some research, do your own research always, but that's it. And I recommend it. I love it. I use it all the time, every day. Uh, I'll just say one more thing. If you found this video useful in any way, of course, like and subscribe. But there is also a link in the description that it really helps us to um, helps me to make these types of videos. Uh, we get a small commission if you purchase a Ledger Nano S. But check into the Ledger Nano S and the Crypto Steel, those two devices. You can actually buy them together. Uh, and I highly recommend uh, that both of them, they're both wonderful. Cheers, guys.